What's up, soldiers? Chris here, CaribbeanPod.com, vibes and up in the kitchen as usual. In the last episode of Tasty Tuesday, we did that cabbage with smoked herrings. I've got some leftover in the fridge, so I thought I'd share a quick recipe with you guys. Um, putting that to use, if you got some leftover, maybe you want to start from scratch, you can certainly do that as well. We're doing that cabbage, smoked herring, and green bananas, or green fig as we say in the Caribbean. Vibes it up. First thing we need to do, and these here when you go into the grocery store, you're looking for green cooking bananas, not just the normal bananas that you buy that's still green, but it's going to be called green cooking bananas or cooking bananas. In the Caribbean, we call it cooking fig or green fig. And what you want to do is just break them off like this to show you. Take the stem off. And one of the things I highly recommend doing is just going to be a sort of a sap or stain to there. Rub some vegetable oil all over your hands or wear gloves to prevent it from going discolored and, and sticky. So I remove the top, I remove the bottom. And one of these lines here, you're going to go in just the thickness of the skin. And that's all you're doing. You're cutting a line like that. What happens is when it's boiled, that's going to allow us to be able to peel this very easily. So I'm going to go ahead and trim and prepare these. Next up, you put it in a pot with water, just cool water, and you bring that up to a boil. After it comes up to a boil, you want to let it go a, sort of a rolling boil for about 15 to 20 minutes. It will go dark, it will go discolored, and you will see that sort of the cut that we made will split open. That is exactly what we're looking for. I forgot to mention, if you want, I am not doing it, you can salt this water so the water will be salted for you. I know I'm using that smoked herring which still have a fair amount of salt in it so I'm trying to cut back on my sodium so you can completely do against what I'm doing and add some salt to it. The other thing is I think on the Food FAQ channel I have a video showing you how to shop and peel and, and, and pretty much prepare the green bananas for cooking. The bananas are fully cooked now. Notice the split I was talking about. That's where we made that cut, right? That's where we're going to peel it from. So all I'm going to do is turn the stove off, drain that, and allow it to cool for us to be able to handle it properly. With the bananas cooled where I can handle them, all I'm going to do is pull back on the skin like that, and we've got that peeled green cooked banana there just ready to go in into the pot and just going to cut it up into about four pieces like that do the rest and then we get ready to cook now since I'm using that smoked herring with the cabbage that we cooked a while ago what I'm going to do is start off with my pan here on a medium heat going with a tiny bit of olive oil and I've got here one clove of garlic that I sliced up thinly low heat we want it on low heat because we want to sort of sweat that garlic and I've got here some bell peppers any bell pepper would work and a bit of parsley just to waken things up here's the thing guys if you're doing this recipe from scratch so let's say you're making the the cabbage and the smoked herrings and you want to add that green banana to it remember to skip this step here just refer to video one where we made that um, smoked herring with the tomato and everything else here with the cabbage and at the end, that's when you're going to add the cooked banana, toss it, and then you're good to go. I'm just going to let this sweat down here for about three or four minutes, and then we're going to get moving. With my heat still on low, I'm going to go in here with all those pieces of that cooked banana. The reason why I'm doing it like this is because I wanted to pick up some of that flavor from that garlic and peppers that we added at first. Give that a quick toss, and let that go for a couple minutes just to pick up some of that flavor as I mentioned. now time to go in with that cooked goodness we call smoke herring or smoked herrings and cabbage so I'll brighten it up a little bit more I've got a little bit more tomato there and all I want to do now is warm that through mix everything together and you have a delightful one pot dish here this is what we call country food big people food you know <laughs> crisp here yeah. CaribbeanPod.com. I do hope you guys give this recipe a try. Um, very tasty, but again, remember, 
That's smoked herrings. The scent is very strong. So turn your fan on in your stove. 